Hey guys, it's Zach from the Konkan channel and in this video I'm going to show you where all the Horikawa collectibles can be found in Rise of the Ronin. So the first two collectibles that you're going to get is the Veldage Banner and the Public Order. Now obviously to unlock the Veldage Banner you need to complete the Public Order so you can go ahead and take out all the enemies. Once you defeat one of the formidable foes, you should get a rusty key. Once you defeat all the enemies in the area, the area will be restored. So the next collectible that you're going to get is a treasure chest. Now in order to get this treasure chest, you needed to have defeated a formidable foe, which gave you a rusty key from the public order. But once you have the rusty key, you can go ahead and open up the doors and you'll see that the treasure chest will be right ahead and you can go ahead and open it right up. So the next collectible that you're going to get is a landmark. So all you need to do is follow the path here. And once you get close enough into this area, it should say that the landmark has been visited. So the following collectible that you're going to get is a photography collectible. Now if we read the details, it says take a photograph of the main hall from the Red Bridge of Trinsenen Temple. So what you want to do is actually come into the landmark area and you'll see the Red Bridge quite clearly as you can see it's right there. What you want to do is run towards the red bridge and you're going to stand on the red bridge once you're here you're going to face towards the temple take a photo and it should say success now the next two collectibles that you're going to get is the veld edge banner and the landmark which is this stronghold right here this purple stronghold now in order to get this you all you have to do is progress through the story but once you have done that the veld edge banner should be over here and the landmark should be automatically collected once progressing through the story missions which is this area right over here now the next collectible that you're going to get is a shrine which can be found in this location right over here now you want to come to where i'm standing and you'll see that the doors ahead of you will not be able to be opened as you can see but all you need to do is actually just climb the wall the wall is pretty small and you'll see the shrine right here and you can go ahead and pray at the shrine so the next collectible that you're going to get is the public order and the fugitive so you can go ahead and take out all the enemies and that is the fugitive defeated once the fugitive and all the enemies have been defeated the area will be restored the following collectible you are going to get is the fugitive now it's going to be in a training ground and there'll be a little canopy here that you can jump on top of so once you're here you can go ahead and take out the fugitive and that is the fugitive defeated so the next collectible that you're going to get is a treasure chest now it is in this area right over here this area that you need to enter into but once you're here you see you will see the treasure chest building all you want to do is run over to your right then you're going to climb the wall right here climb this little roof right over here once you're here you're just going to run and jump you'll make it to the sledge then you can fall down and you should see the chest right here and you can go ahead and open the chest right up so the following collectible that you're going to get is a cat which can be found in this location right over here now when you're in the location the cat is going to be all the way in the tower so you can follow exactly what i do to get there what you want to do is run ahead of this building and you're going to go around this fence to the left once you're here you're going to see the platform just behind this building you're going to jump onto it and then you can jump onto the upper part of the building now it might be a bit tricky to get at first but you can get it as you can see once you're there you're going to climb these little platforms here and then you're going to go all the way to the top and you should see the cat here so the next collectible you're going to get is another cat so you're going to come to this location where i'm standing right over here once you're over here, you're going to run to the left of this building and you should see a grappling hook. Now you want to go over the roof over here because the cat's going to be in this little corner. And you can see the cat right down there and you can go ahead and pet the cat. The next collectible that you're going to get is another cat. Now this cat is going to be sleeping, so just be careful. But you want to come to where I'm standing right over here as the entrance is over here to the area. Once you're by the entrance, you should see the cat right from the entrance and you can slowly start to crouch walk towards the cat. Once you get close enough, you can go ahead and pet the cat. Now, the final collectible that you're going to get is a treasure chest and this one is quite tricky to get. So I'm going to explain quite thoroughly how to get it. So this treasure chest is going to be in a tower. So we'll mark it right there, which is this tower over here. Now, in order to get this tower, as you can see, we need to take these gliding mechanisms to get inside. So what you want to do is come to this marker over here as this is another tower. As you can see right there, so you can mark it on your map, you need to go to that tower. So you can head this along. Once you get to this tower, you can see that you can just unmark it there. You'll see the tower, it's this one here. You're going to jump on the inside and then you're going to jump and grapple up. Once you're up, you're going to climb onto the platforms and grapple up once again and then you can look towards the gliding mechanism so then you're going to start gliding just like this 
and you're just going to follow all the gliding mechanisms until you get to the tower once you reach the final gliding mechanism you should be able to make it into the tower and the treasure chest will be right here and you can go ahead and open it up it's been zach from the concon channel i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching